Welcome back to the channel, guys. Crave the taste. Back at you again for another quick shot of some food. Want to do a review on some Trader Joe's teriyaki chicken, and not just any teriyaki chicken. It is the barbecue teriyaki chicken. And I've got to tell you, boys and girls, I've been dying to try this. You get your steamed rice right here. There's three packs in a box. Simple as can be. Easy, cheesy, sneezy, leasy. You put one pack in the microwave, three minutes, boom, done. Now, this gives you two options. You can do the microwave or you can do the frying pan. I chose the frying pan. I highly advise a non stick okay? I use the stainless steel pan. So, drop this baby, and that's a lot of food, guys. I mean, this is a lot of food. Into the frying pan between 8 to 10 minutes. I bought all this right here, guys, for less than 8 bucks, okay? Now, look at this teriyaki chicken, man. Look at that. Steam rice in there. And there's another bowl right here, some chicken. That's, that was what was up in this other bag, or same bag. So um, I wanted to go ahead and share this with guys with you because I love teriyaki. I love hibachi. But to buy a brand from the store, Frozen, man, I'm not, not a big fan. But this one right here, Trader Joe has a lot of good products. So we're going to find out, guys, right here with you guys. All right? I know you guys can't smell it. I'm sorry about that. Can't see the steam. Oh, well. Let's dig in and try what we got here. We'll talk. We'll have a little bit of chit-chat while we're trying some of this food. Mmm, that's really good. Man, this custom is rice. Mmm. That's better than a restaurant, man. I'm not joking, you guys. Mmm. Oh, and it's hard to get a good chicken. Yeah, most times, it's either freezer burnt, dried out, doesn't reheat up very good. This was pre cooked. All I had to do was heat it up. Now, they were frozen, so it takes a little longer. It says in the bag about six to eight minutes. I had to do about 10 minutes. But it's so tender, man. I'm not kidding you. Mm. Let's try a piece over here. Mm. Guys, I kid you not. Go to Trader Joe's, grab this little kit. I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. I guarantee you won't be. <clears throat> From a scale of one to ten, I'll give this an eight and a half. Between an eight, eight and a half, being that nothing's really perfect in this world. That's a high score. That's a very high score for me from Crave the Taste. By the way, do me a little small favor. Make sure you like us, subscribe to us, and ring that bell. Smash that bell so that the next video you're notified about it and you can watch it. <clears throat> We're gonna have some strong content this spring. Right now, it's wintertime here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. I can't do a lot of cooking outside because it's just so freezing cold out there. I mean, 31, 32, 33 degrees, plus the wind chill is just too cold. So we're doing a lot of content on the inside, and we've got a large variety of different dishes that we're going to be doing, that we are doing. And <clears throat> we do some shopping at Trader Joe's. They're a little bit pricier than most stores, and compared to what? Food City, Walmart, Aldi's. But almost in comparison with Publix. I've done a lot of food from Trader Joe's, and I've got a few things I didn't really care so much about. But most of the time, I get things, and they turn out excellent. So we'll do stuff from different stores and different markets, some even some fresh produce and things like that that we'll share, mostly when it's seasonal, though, because right now it's not. But so I wanted to, I really wanted to dig into this, and I'm so glad I did. Um, when I buy this again, I'm going to buy this again. You can feed like four people. Yeah, I'm not going to eat all this. Maybe. Now, I don't know how big it looks in the video. That's at least, I don't know, maybe three pounds of food. That's a lot of food. And I'm not really big on preservatives. But sometimes I like to shoot videos of things that people can afford, especially in times like we're living in right now. Families are struggling. And if you just buy the chicken, folks, from Publix, Walmart, wherever, you're gonna spend about six or seven dollars. Cause this is this is mostly white meat, breast meat, whatever you want, thigh meat, whatever. <clears throat> it is very it's about ten dollars a pack. You get this and the rice, and this has three bags of rice, three different meals. And it's all this is less than eight bucks. Okay? So you can buy a larger pack, sure. Now, food prices are gonna go up. And they are going up. Gas is going up. Everything is getting freaking stupid, man. Everything's getting really crazy. So people, 
need to have a find a way that they can support the families and enjoy with a nutritional meal. Is this the most nutritional meal? No. Sodium, soy, you name it. But to have once in a while, it's okay, man. Um, <clears throat> so if you can buy the supplies and season it yourself, great, good for you. But so for college students and high school, and even families that work on the clock, I wanna make sure they had a chance to enjoy some of this stuff. And so I do reviews on that. That's what we're here for. Crave the taste. Make sure you like us, subscribe to us, and smash that bell. Make sure you do that, guys, because that's what brings me to the table so I can enjoy the food and make you guys praise the taste. And so <clears throat> what I'm going to do next time is I'm going to do, a, if you guys can give me a comment down below the video, what you'd like for me to try. Be reasonable. None of this, you know, Wagyu, T-bone steaks, porterhouse steaks, nothing like that. And uh, we'll try to make it happen for you. And uh, if we can, we will. So again, guys, I really appreciate you guys watching us. And uh, next time, we'll do another review. See ya.